Well, you know, I, I, it, it boxing shows me when uh, when I went to the penitentiary, and when I came out of the penitentiary, uh, the people in Cleveland were waiting on me because the hospital that serviced black people and poor people, white and black, was going broke and they couldn't stay in business. So they asked me to do a benefit for the hospital. So I called my friend Muhammad Ali, and uh, we'd been on a big boxing exhibition and music concert to save the hospital so they could service the people. And so Muhammad Ali told me, you should go into boxing. You say, we are the gladiators and the bleeders in the center of the ring, but we have nobody to represent us. He said, I'm the only free fighter in the world, Muhammad, Muhammad Ali. And so I said, okay, I went with Muhammad and the rest is history. That's how I got into boxing. I was a nightclub owner that did business with all of the entertainers. You know what I mean? And so, yes, and so then, and in, uh, in, 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 in the lottery man, which they call the lottery now with the numbers uh, <laughs> then. But that's how I got into boxing. They come and found me when I come out of the penitentiary. And they uh, asked me to help them, you know what I mean, keep the doors of the hospital open to service the poor, the underprivileged, the downtrodden, and the nine. And by the way, my next question is, Muhammad Ali, how old is he in his life? Well, Muhammad Ali is, uh, he should be about 70 now, I think. I don't know why he's here, but I know that his birthday was in January. And he's doing fairly well, you know, not good. But fairly well, but I love the man. He's he's, a, he's an icon, a history man. What is the hope he became a man? It's uh, just because he's very talented, very lucky. What is your opinion? He was a man of the people, you know. And he, and no matter what they said, he stood up for what he believed in. Therefore, you know, it was, and he gave up his title for years. No one really knows how good Muhammad Ali could have been. Because four years at the height of his career, he chose not to go into the army, and he chose, and he was a conscientious objector, and so the Supreme Court of the United States, four years later, supported him, and so that means he is above and beyond money. It's about the principle of the heart, the ones who stands up for the people, and that's why I love Russia and the people that stand up for Russia, and that's why I, when I see the conversion with President Vladimir Putin, I admire and respect that because this is what happens when people become people power, people to each other. We the people. The people's rights are the most important. Your money, it comes and goes. Your word and your relationships live forever. And if you don't stand up for your people, you don't stand up for yourself. Because the day they knock on his door, and you look around and try to hide, tomorrow they knock on your door, ain't nobody to hide from. Mm -hmm. And next question, can you compare him with uh, Mike Tyson? Yes, Muhammad Ali was a fighter of the people, and Tyson was a fighter that was a devastating fighter, and he showed that you could come from uh, the lowest ebb and, and, and rise to the heights, you know what I mean? Uh, what we call from the guttermost to the uttermost from the streets to the suites, you know what I mean? And uh, from the, as, as now being demonstrated, you know what I mean, uh, in, in America, the change is coming. You got a black man sitting in the White House. I mean, it's remarkable, it's unheard of, but that shows what people are in there, people. You know, they don't see color, you know what I mean? They see what's in your heart, in your character. Mm -hmm. Not the hue of your hair or the pigmentation of your skin, but what's in your heart and what do you want to do to be a better American. This little girl is indicative of that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, yes. She didn't see no color. And uh, to come back to Mike Tyson, what do you think about this uh, very famous accident with Ian? Why did he do it? It was uh, just because he's not clever, or maybe too clever. And maybe you told him to do it, or it was for show element, or he was so angry and uh, so many people in Russia think that he's very angry man but is it true or not? No, he's not true. You know, he's trying to do what they expect him to do. Instead of establishing... But people didn't expect yeah, him yeah. to eat this. He, he, he was uh, absolutely he, unexpected. He's a good guy. You know what I mean? I say, Father, mm. forgive him. He know not what he's doing. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Mm. Don't forget, 
when you win titles, that don't mean you win PhDs, LLBs, MDAs, you know, MBAs, you know, you win titles with your fist. You got to be able to educate. That's why I like Vladimir Putin. He speak about education, enlightenment. Educate, 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 re-educate. That means you get the intelligence, like you, you're bilingual. You know what I mean? You can speak Russian, you can speak English, and you're beautiful. You know what I mean? God has blessed you. You have charming eyes, you know what I mean? You're, you're just captivating. I mean, it's just the Thank truth. You. I mean, it's just a blessing. You're supposed to be able to utilize that. Flaunt it, he gave it to you. <laughs> Let me tell you what, what the best boxer in the world, the Muhammad Ali is the greatest. Uh -huh. But you know how you got to be the greatest? He looked at this guy right here. Get that. See that? That's the man. Mm -hmm. Ali sugar. fought like him. That's Sugar Ray Robinson. Oh, what, sugar what, what, yeah, what, Sugar what, Ray what? Robinson, a master boxer. Yes. You know what I mean? This is who Ali learned from. He would, you know, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Mm -hmm. You know, and he was so fast, your eyes, your hands can't hit what your eyes can't see. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? This is what it was. And so, but this is the guy, Sugar Ray Robinson, mm -hmm. greatest pound for pound boxer in history. And what is your opinion about Lennox Lewis? Lennox Lewis is a good fighter. He's a good champion. He's, he's, uh, he comes from the UK, but he's really Jamaican. Soon come, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> Don, you're very lucky you managed to work with the most amazing boxers in the world, but you didn't reach two guys. It's uh, Vladimir and Vitaly Klitschko because they have their own company. But uh, do you want to make some kind of deal with them or it's absolutely impossible? I'd be happy to make it. I love the, both of the Klitschko, Klitschko brothers. For you, you, know, you, you know, I love the Klitschko brothers because they're two brothers and they say they would never fight each other. I'm a promoter of the people by the people, for the people, and my magic lies in my people's ties. I promote the people. Now, I will put Klitschko against Klitschko. I give the people what they want. They want the best in talent and skill. They won't do that, but because they're two brothers. But I always remember being a religious man, Cain slew Abel, and they were brothers. You know what I mean? And so you got to understand, I think that Klitschko's are great. I love them, I have nothing but love for them because what they did is a family. They would not go against each other in any way, shape, form, or fashion. And I applaud them for that. One last question. One last question. Mm -hmm. One last question. We gotta go. We really have a lot of But we had agreement with... No, no, no. I promised to let her, let her go. A few more? Okay. Yeah, I promised. Sure, we, we Mr. Mr. Boris Dimitrov told me that Mr. King knows the history of Russia better than, than Boris Dimitrov. It's indeed, indeed true. Let, let me tell her so she can ask me. Uh -huh. And uh, after all of these uh, great fighters, mm -hmm. uh, why are you interested uh, to work with Denis Lebedev? He's like, in, no, not on such a great mm -hmm. level. Of, like, yeah, well, you know, but he's a person. He's a person. He's a human being. He's a human being. You know, judge not, yet ye be judged. The good book says, knock, and the door shall be opened. Seek, and ye shall find. Ask, and you shall be given. You must understand that God, who sits high, looks low, and keeps his eye on a sparrow, it looks at all of us. You know what I mean? So now we can't get in our own vanity and ego that is all oh, I, I, me, me. No, it's we, it's us. We the people. So we've got to be able to relate and to identify with each other. We must be able to be able to say, yes, I love you. You love me. Let's make love master the plan. Rather than I want to shoot you, I want to kill you. I want to, you know, you're no good. You're this. No, 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 no. Let's don't look at that way. Let's look at how we can help one another. You know what I mean? Working together works. If you work with a person, I got to respect you for what you are. Not try to change you until you know about what I know about your culture, your background. We're walking in your shoes. Then I can make a judgment as to what it would be. Likewise, reciprocally, you do the same with me. And then we sit down to the table of brotherhood together and we share our ideas and we compromise and get, put away those that are necessary and take those that are necessary and join hands together and challenge the world. Mm. No, I know that you've been to meet with Vladimir Putin. Have you uh, managed to do it? And have you Not yet, to... but with your help. With your help, we can do just put it out there on the air, let him know that Mr. King, Don King, the, pe the promoter of the people, 
that loves Russia, that loves you, Mr. Putin, wants to see you. Tell him, tell him. Ah, спасибо, спасибо. And do you know that uh, he's a fighter as well? He makes judo fighting. And have you ever seen uh, him? And what is your opinion? Well, you know what he—he uh, he was an interpreter for boxing. You know, years before, what Peter Cole told me that he was the interpreter. You know, before he went to the KGB, he was doing but, translating. But you know, how, how do you know it? Well, Peter Cole is another boxing man. You know, he's from Germany. You know, he's from the Deutschland. You know what I mean? And he told me that, so uh, uh, he's familiar with it. And I want to be able on record that I don't want wrestling to be dropped out of the Olympics. I want wrestling to stay because it's a competitive sport from the Greco-Roman days when they were wrestling. Don't take it out of the Olympics. You know what I mean? I campaigned for Beijing to get the Olympics in 208. Beijing 208. All right? So now I'm campaigning to keep Russia and keep the World Olympics with wrestling. So let them know that too, because, you know, forget Vladimir Putin was a wrestler too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Good luck. Mm -hmm. We never received such a pity that we should. Ah, Pandiva! Pandiva!